All right, well, this test is not going to be ideal because, first of all, the microphone, I have a wireless lav mic, and um, it's a Movo, M-O-V-O, WMX7, I believe. It was in one of my previous videos, but it's just not working. <laughs> it's like almost brand new. It's been sitting in the drawer. I used it probably just a couple times, and because I don't do video that much, and now one of the times I want to use it, it doesn't work. It's not that it's not paired. It looks like the, the receiver and transmitter were not paired first. So I went through the process in the manual to try to pair it. And um, by the way, we're just, we'll do the video focus test here as I'm talking. And um, it wouldn't pair. And now, now it just, uh, you turn it on and then the on, the display just flashes. It's a little, little um, lighted display that has messages on it. It just says on and it just flashes on. It just says on over and over, flash, flash, flash. So I'm going to contact them if they don't make it right by replacing it. Um, again, it's out of warranty now. It's over a year old, but it's just literally been sitting in the container, well, the little um, storage case that it comes with, you know, in my house next to my desk. And uh, now it doesn't work. You know, the batteries are fresh. I've got, you know, really nice AA um, rechargeable batteries. But anyway, so I've got a... Rode Video Micro mic mounted on top of the camera. This first real video test I've done with the EM1 Mark III. So I just wanted to do this little test to see what it's like starting to snow out here. And uh, there's an airplane. Um, I've got the video, it's in Cinema 4K. The other thing that's aggravating is I was going to use my phone to control the camera, you know, through Wi-Fi, which would be fine. But I noticed uh, I can't do Cinema 4K 24P when I'm connected to the phone, controlling the phone to like start and stop recording, because it wants to downsize the, you know, it wants to change the video settings to 1080 instead of 4K. I can't do 4K um, using the phone to control the camera. So I, I'm kind of a kind of screwed today. Anyway, so we'll just do it like this. I'm looking at the, I've got the the screen flipped out and turned towards myself. But as I start walking away, I won't really be able to keep track of it. That's what I wanted to do was have my phone so I could watch it and see where I'm in focus and not. So I'm just going to walk away from it and uh, we'll see how it goes. So this is just, uh, like I said, it's the EM1 Mark III. It's the Olympus 45mm f1.8 lens. So it's like a 90mm equivalent and I've got it at f1.8. It's getting a little bit windy now. So hopefully, hope the noise is getting, not getting in, but it should. I've got the little dead cat thing on the microphone should be fine um, what else I've got the natural profile I've got the autofocus speed set to plus one so it's either zero which is normal plus one which is fast and then there's like a minus zero minus one which is slow so it's like at the fastest speed right now so it'll change focus as quickly as possible just for this little test to get myself in focus I'll probably put it back to the normal setting which is zero which is a more of if you want to call it cinematic um, transition for the autofocus. So uh, let's see what else, what other settings that matter. I've got the external microphone on top of the camera and I think it's set to plus four for the microphone volume. So if you, you were paying attention to that, this is what it sounds like. I'm talking a little bit loud, but not super loud, just kind of normal speaking voice. Um, but it's a little bit louder than I'd be talking to someone standing next to me. So. Anyway, as the snow falls down, I'll, the, the, the other thing is the Olympus EM1 Mark III, it has eye detect autofocus for photos, but not for video. It has face detect for video, and keep in mind the EM1 Mark III also has um, contrast detect and phase detect autofocus, so it should do pretty well in this test. And the wind's starting to blow around, if you hear a little clinging, clanging, that's my, my, uh, um, camera strap that may be clanging against the tripod. Hopefully it won't do that much. And I'll do a little video on that because I'm kind of switching tripod or uh, camera straps too. So I'll do that next after I get the, the things I need for it. But I'm switching away from the um, Peak Design straps and going to something else. So anyway, I'm just going to walk back and we'll watch the camera, see if it um, keeps track of my face. And again, I can't see very well. I'm just going to go straight back from the camera and I might come in from the side and We'll just see what it does, how quickly it, pick, how quickly it picks up the face and change, changes focus and so on. 
and uh, if it loses focus or not. But we'll just go ahead and start. And I'm sorry again, I can't talk to you as I'm further away because I don't want to yell at the camera. And uh, again, my lab mic, wireless lab mic, isn't working. So I'll see if I can get them to replace it. And if not, I'll have to buy something else. And I'll never buy another Movo product again if they don't fix it for me. Because again, that thing's like brand new. I've you only used it a few times. I mean, that's not right if it just sits there and stops working. But maybe there's some way to reset it. You know, I've taken the batteries out and put them back in several times and went through the pairing process. Didn't work. But anyway, here we go. branches out of the way. I can see it's definitely on my face here. Okay, I can see it changed. You can see the box on my face. It's, it's looking really good. <clears throat> so I see the box and it definitely, yeah, it seems to pick up my face right away. And I'm not sure with the close focus distance. I don't want to get put my face too close in the camera anyway. Yeah, to me it's looking really good. Uh, again, I wish I could watch this on my phone. You know, I could if I just wanted to switch down to 1080. But I thought, you know, let's do 4K finally because I don't really do much 4K. I mean, as far as way, as far away as I can see the screen, it appears to be picking up my face really quickly and actually focusing on it. The other thing I wanted to do is just kind of turn my back to the camera so it's not doing face focus you know, when I'm a little bit farther away and I'm still kind of a main subject in the scene. So see what that does. You want to make sure it picks up on me as the primary subject. <clears throat> Having to avoid uh, branches that fell from the tree and also uh, any of the mole tunnels. The moles have been digging tunnels and then the ground freezes and you almost trip on those. I think this is looking really good. You have to do the little pop who's the weasel focus test right, you know, come in from below. It's looking really good. I like this. remember if I said but uh, this is the natural profile on the Olympus camera this is the you know you have like um, profiles picture profiles whatever you want to call it um, you know you have like landscape portrait neutral well actually I think it's called muted on this one and um, natural this is this is the natural one. it's kind of like the standard setting for the color and contrast and so on for the Olympus Nikon has uh, they just call it standard and um, other brands have you know like Fuji for example has the um, film simulations like Provia and so on so this just this is like the Olympus version of that this one's just called natural just like the standard setting so we'll see what the color looks like it's obviously overcast today not much color out <coughs> for some acorns. Let's see here. Get my face out of the scene there. I 
right, I think that'll do it. Um, to me, it looks really good. I'm really happy with the autofocus on this. I'll go in and check it on my computer and upload it. But uh, to me, it looks like any time that I can actually see the screen, uh, you know, I'm definitely in focus. And again, this is the fast autofocus setting. So it'll change focus more quickly. Uh, I'm going to change it to go back to a, a more slow setting after I'm finished with this. But yeah, it looks really good to me. This is what you have to do when you don't have the uh, remote control. Just have to press it by hand.